everybody, good morning. We are on the road, headed out to the field again. Last night we tried a little duck shoot and uh, tried to traffic them. We weren't really sure where the birds were coming. We found them in the dark the night before. So we uh, went out there where we thought we saw some ducks and sure enough we did. Uh, only thing is we didn't quite get close enough. The birds stopped between their roost and us. Uh, but man, there's, there's a pretty good few of them. So, we're gonna try and get real intimate with them. I think we'll get close and uh, you know see how it works. We're gonna try to keep just enough distance that we don't blow the roost up. And you know, a lot of that's just gonna kind of depend on how much that wind blows. But I'm I'm thinking if we're gonna go in there and smash them. After we tried running traffic, we literally hiked, shoot man, almost close to a mile over some rolling hills, and not just rolling hills. I'm talking like steep grade mule deer country to find exactly where these ducks were and we got about 60 yards from where they're feeding and we could hear them all you know feed chattering we could hear the hens we could hear the drakes we found a really really good hide so we're gonna make the most of it buckle up this one ought to get pretty exciting little pro tip Make sure you, if the gate's open, you leave it open. If the gate's closed, you leave it closed. What's the verdict, bud? It's good. Good? We're good? Mm -hmm. Good to go? I think so. We'll know if we get stuck or not. Onward. We've got a wind here that's kind of, we're going to be crossing these ducks. So we've got our two spinners far up one side, drag them across, and then just kind of create a little blocker for them. The ducks, I mean, we had a blob of decoys out there yesterday, and they really didn't care. They just wanted to be in with those ducks. There was pintails landing around our decoys, and it was just cool. It was cool to see, but it's kind of the mentality we got going, focus on the hide set some decoys out with a nice little pocket a clump of ducks to just kind of resemble what they looked like because it was just a mass of ducks so i think that's the game plan we're going to throw some specs out there because we have been seeing quite a few more specs here uh, but i think throwing the specs out there will give us that contrast too for the ducks to see from a further distance away um, and i mean even give them a little bit more confidence with being 10 yards off of the fence around. Just parked the truck, got a little trek back. Horse, how you feeling, buddy? Man, I'm I'm excited. I think it's gonna pan out pretty well. Everything that we asked for, we've gotten. It's kind of misting. It's a little a little breezy. It's not really blowing hard, but I think it's blowing hard enough that we're gonna get away with being inside of a mile from the roost. Yeah. So um, it's tight, but I think it's blowing hard enough that we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. And we were able to angle the blind a yeah. lot harder than what we anticipated. Yeah, so I'm, I'm <clears throat> cautiously hopeful. How about that? Yeah. We've gotten, gotten beaten by stuff like that when we're feeling too good about it too many times to really say we're feeling awesome. Yeah. But uh, i tell you what, we're walking on the edge of this draw here and uh, as long as the boogeyman or a mountain lion doesn't come up out of this, then uh, I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. So what you're about to see is one of the most special groups of ducks any of us have ever seen. We're going to drag it out. We're going to show you all the footage. Um, this is honestly about six, eight minutes worth of ducks just swinging and working. All of this was in shooting light. It was legal hours. We could have just rained in on them. None of us had any desire to grab a gun because it was just so special. And uh, for those of you who are, you know, truly diehard waterfowlers, you understand the romance uh, and the appreciation for waterfowl that we all have. It's been about an hour and a half since that happened and I still have goosebumps when I think about it. Enjoy this. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god. Dude, this is nuts. Swing. Look at this swing. Ten minutes into shooting light, and this is just too cool. We we're not even shooting yet. It's just one of those things, you know. Every now and then. Every now and then you get those deals where, yeah, you can shoot. <laughs> this I got goosebumps, man. <laughs> I haven't seen the action of field like this in a long time. Dude, this is insane. I haven't stood up to look at the horizon, but I think. Uh, I think we're in the eye of the storm right here. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really glad we walked that extra mile last night to see where they were. Yep.
Are you clapping to get them out or are you applauding them for the oh, show? Yes. <laughs> You can't get them out. There's too many to shoot. Oh my gosh. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look, they're coming back. Let's go. Nice. Well, I just twofered. Good but shooting. I did too. <laughs> nice. That was a nice one. Two. Give me an update, buddy. Man, that was that was special. You know, I, one of my best friends got me into hunting ducks in a field when I was really young, and. Um, it used to be really, really good in Colorado. It's still pretty good, but I haven't had something like that in a very long time. Um, in fact, that might be the, the most ducks I've ever had work in a field, uh, like on top of me. I've, I've seen a whole bunch of them swirl, but to have that many ducks come and land, I, I don't know how many it was. I can tell you they span about 300 yards. I couldn't tell how deep, uh, and then there were more in the air, and that was cool. You know, it was super dark. I couldn't tell Drake from hand, and even if we could, I wouldn't have wanted to shoot anyway. Um, just getting to watch him come and see him right there. I mean, I'm sure you can see the, the excitement in our eyes, but I, it doesn't get any better than that. That's, that's the dream, you know. That's what you come out here hoping for and, and daydreaming of all through the winter is that just that one big group of the year. And honestly, you know, I, I think that was the group of many years. I, I don't know. I've never in my life been under ducks like that. That many ducks that were so careless. I mean, dude, that first group, whenever we were really like, wow, this is about to be crazy, that first group, man, if I really would have tried, I might could have grabbed one. You right? could have. They yeah. were swinging yeah. over the A-frame like, I could feel the, the wind coming off their wings yeah. on my ears, like, close. And then it just picked up and picked up and picked up and got bigger and bigger and I have never, Never in my life have I been under something. You know, I've maybe seen that a couple times in my life, but never been underneath it. You know, that's something that you freak out that you see. If you see it from the truck through your binoculars, you're you're shaking in your driver's seat. But to be underneath it, it's unreal. That's cool. It's unreal. And to think that you know we we found this almost on a whim. Like I said before, it was dark. We wouldn't on have a full found moon night. I mean, I think it was moonlight that was the only reason we saw the We would ducks not we have did. been here and seen this this morning if we wouldn't have scouted on foot last night. Yeah, that's the truth. That's the other thing. I mean, we were sitting 
over that ridge. Yeah, we did the onyx and it was about a mile and a half. We hiked up and down the coolies, up and around, just just coming to see where these uh, where these birds were sitting. You and can't see this from the road in any direction. No, there's not a road for a very long ways. And man, this is just one of those one of those special deals. I can tell you, I won't forget this one. Single right here. Cade, kill him. Welcome to the hunt, brother. Got him. Heck this yeah, is a dude. pretty drink, dude. Great first mallard That's of the year, beautiful. buddy. Plenty more to come. Cut him. I'd get on that one. A lot of the times in the field, especially when it's light, the first pass you get is going to be the best pass. So um, it's really easy, especially to, to treat them like lessers and hope that you get the whole group to work. And a lot of times it happens, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen on that first pass. So with small groups, sometimes waiting for that whole whole flock doesn't always pan out. And uh, you know what? I'll take any opportunity I can. You get a nice, beautiful green head like that. Look at that wing. That's a stud, bro. Oof. Nice shot, buddy. Thanks, brother. Okay, tricky. Nice. Oh, you yeah, hit him. <laughs> nice shot, man. Thanks, brother. Man, hard to beat. Pretty bad. Boy, that's a good one. I think we're gonna have to hunt these ducks again. Yeah. <laughs> here they come, here they come, here they come. Tips, white wing tips. Kill that Drake Mallard in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Gosh dang it. Oh wow. Golly, dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Nice shot, dude. Nice shot. Sniper! That was on your end, dude. <laughs> I know, I go, you want me to get him? And Forrest goes, yeah, and all of a sudden, boom! Shoot him, straight up. Pintails! Oh, don't tell me to shoot him! <laughs> it's a pintail. <laughs> Good call though, because I was about to munch. So aggressive. <laughs> Pinch honestly, honestly, I'm glad. Oh, wow. Someone kill it. Oh, shit. My bad, dude. I, I should have let him. I hit him. Yeah, I should have let him. There's more ducks. Crap. That's mine. Right off that bush. I'll go get him. Okay, you got one more? Yep. Yep. I Sometimes they come in and do it perfect for you and you miss all three shots just like that. See, they're, I mean, there's ducks, they're trickling. I think with this weather, they're gonna trickle for as long as they can. So we'll finish up here soon, hopefully. You need one, Cade needs one. Yep. Cade's marching. On the way to... Find a sailor somewhere uh, way, way out there. I thought you were gonna kill one. Headshot. Boom, headshot. Well, that's gonna do it for us here. Uh, like I said before, pretty uh, pretty special hunt. And you can see it uh, made for a real nice pile. Got, uh, you know, more than that though, it's just one of the most amazing experiences I've had in waterfowling. It's pretty, pretty special to see uh, the ducks work the way they did right there at first light. You know, even later in the day when they were a little bit hesitant, you know, it still makes for a heck of a memorable hunt. A good town. That was the most amount, the, the most ducks I've ever seen in shooting range for me. You know what I'm saying? Like we've we've driven by feeds on refuges and stuff like that, but having them in our face and just watching and enjoying the show was yeah. special. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff for us. We've got a bunch more of these videos coming. We enjoy making, and uh, until next time.